Wave, wave, wave. Hello, YouTube. It is time. We are here with more Pokemon Infinity. Uh, last time something happened, and this time something else will probably happen. I think we probably have a battle with someone, or they're just gonna be like, haha, you're too late, because, uh, this is with Dialga, I guess. And I'm assuming it's just gonna be about the same thing that happened last time when we went to Palkia. Yeah, see, haha, you're too late. You're too late. Again. Like I told you before, kid, you're up against forces you don't understand. I've already captured Dialga and Palkia, which completely neutralizes Thorn's plans. That's right, I'm on a mission to stop Professor Thorn from capturing the power of the space-time deities. With two out of three now in my control, it seems I may have already won. I know I said I didn't want to waste time battling you last time. But I just can't pass up the opportunity to test them out in battle. Maybe this will put an end to your ambitions. Oh no. I don't... I don't feel confident about this. Oh god. One of my Pokemon's already fainted. Um, I should have probably checked. Oh no. Oh no. Hi Blastoise buddy, you are not having a good time. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna... No, I am. No, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I'm having a crisis. Okay, okay, okay. No, it's not okay, okay. There is nothing okay about any of this right now. Luxray, hi buddy, do you, I don't know. I was trying to contemplate if I thought it was a good idea to um, use any sort of healing on a Pokemon right now, because I feel like this is just a losing battle. Because I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't ready for this. Look at my teams. This is against level 70s. Only one of my Pokemon is level 70 plus. Oh my god. Blastoise, buddy, you are gonna have to, like, not die ever, please. Oh god, Luxray, I'm so sorry, bud. I'm so sorry, bud. I don't know what to do here. We're gonna lose. We're so gonna lose. Alright, well, I don't feel good about this. How about Altaria, who is, you know, probably also not gonna feel good about this, but... God, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Um, <laughs> you know what, you know what, why don't we... Oh god, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry to all of my Pokémon right now. This is just, like I said, it's a losing battle, it really is. So all I'm kind of doing right now is hoping that Altaria can get a single hit in. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter beyond that. Oh, God. no, never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. Alt oh, hey, Altaria survived. Oh, never mind. I... Oh, no, no, it, it was still okay. It was still okay. I was like, I feel like I may have celebrated a little too early. But Altaria is somehow alive. I'm just kind of testing what what the moves do damage wise against Dialga at this point because I just I'm gonna use this also on Altaria because I don't know it's really one hit and Altaria can be done we all know that it just depends on what the move is but it it's just it's I don't know. Oh god, that was not good. That was not good. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Blastoise. I'm so sorry. I didn't know they were gonna have electric on Blastoise. I should have realized, but I thought they were just gonna target. Oh no. Okay, okay. It's... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, alright. No, no, no. No, we're not gonna panic. We are, but we're not gonna panic. Um... Because somewhere in here, I mean, I have max revives. That feels like a waste, though. I'm not going to use a max revive. I know I have other revives in here. So we're going to just revive revive. You know, oh, no, not, not an antidote. A revive revive, as one does. We're going to hope Bonsley doesn't just immediately die, you know? And yes, I, I'm still calling it die, even though it's... Um, you're fainting. But... Spatial rend. That 
looked awfully like murder. Yeah, yeah, that was awfully like murder. Okay. Cool. Great. I shouldn't have bothered. I should not have bothered with... Okay. We're fine. It's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. It's not. I'm not gonna keep using my healing stuff on this because... Do we usually get the music sounding like it's restarting? Anyway, I got I got distracted. I'm sorry. I'm also not sorry. I don't know what to do here. I really don't. I'm just gonna, oh wait, no, 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 no. That's probably gonna hurt everyone, including Blastoise. Um, let's just go with Dialga again. <laughs> This is good, this is great stuff, amazing stuff. So great that I don't know if we're even going to successfully knock out one of these. Which means that I may have to uh, do a little bit of training and then come back. Oh yeah, Blastoise has leftovers. I didn't even remember. Wow, oh my god. The struggle is real here. I don't... I don't feel good about any of my options right now. I know Flame Burst isn't gonna do a whole lot. I do. But I just wanna feel like Lampant maybe did something. Like I said, there's not, it doesn't feel like there's much point in reviving my Pokemon. Because look at that, look at Lampant. Look at how dead Lampant is. And that just tells you everything. And the Thunderbolt, there we go. All gone. All gone. All of them are all gone. See? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it's fine. It's fine. We lost. We blacked out. We are unfortunately defeated. After much training, much training, and a very small party adjustment that you may find up at the top that I'll go more in depth on while I'm rambling and losing this fight, um, I think we're maybe ready to try this again. If we aren't, I'm gonna be so sad because you're too late again, yeah, uh-huh. Well, that outfit though, you could have picked something a little better. Like, I like the teal blue color, but there's just something a little too much muchness about that. Anyway, so Meowstic, while I was doing my uh, way too many hour training session, which wasn't 12 hours, but it was a lot of hours, I'm just gonna say that outright. So many. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here anymore. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I had a plan. I had a plan, and I'm about to ruin the whole thing by being confused. Alright, alright, alright. No, no, we got this. Disarming voice. The only reason why I have disarming voice on Meowstic is for these guys. Because, you know, dragons. And I realized before that I didn't really go into this with, like, any thought process the first attempt. And there's something about, like, how their health bars are listed on the ordering that for some reason I keep thinking that Palkia's health bar is Dialga's. And I only realized that, like, when I was reflecting back on how badly that battle went. And I was like, I had no idea. Even though I was, like, picking who I was hitting, for some reason it was not connecting in my brain who I was hitting because I kept looking up at the bars and for some reason I felt like Dialga's should have been on the top. I've got no reason to think that, but I do, so... Don't thunderbolt my meow stick. Oh, god damn it! Now you paralyzed him! Anyway, so, as I was doing my giant training montage, yes, montage, you don't get to see it because I didn't record any of it, but trust me, it existed somewhere in there. Oh, no, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't think the Dialga has any... Um, issue with electric attacks. I don't know what that thing is. It looks like a bug. Is it a bug type? Does... Mm, 
It's not very effective, but you would think that it should be, right? Um, I, I am gonna, like, I'm thinking Meowstic's about to faint. I am going to revive Meowstic, assuming. Oh, it did not faint. That is magical. See, take a look at that. Take a look at that. Take notes for Lampent. And think. Meowstic doesn't even have a focus sash. Meowstic isn't holding anything. At all. Because Meowstic knows Covet, and I don't know if it can grab things off of others, if it's got something already. And that probably sounds dumb because I'm sure I could have Googled it, but why would I do that? Why would I start Googling things now of all times, right? No, that that's not us. That's not what I, as you know, me, do. Hold on, actually, no, 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 no. I change, I change what I plan here. I don't think that I should. I'm looking at Dialga's health now, and I'm realizing that the move that I thought was going to do a lot more damage did not do, like, anything. So instead, I'm gonna try a Psychic on... Cerigal? Is that what you are? What type of Pokemon are you? You know what? I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't need... I don't need to know this. I just need to kill it. If... If it's like a bug, if you kill it fast enough, it doesn't matter what it was, because then it's just squished, you know? And if that isn't the most solid logic that you can come across, I don't know what is. I think- ah, shit. I think X-Scissor is a bug move. Alright. I don't feel good about this choice. Lampant... Just... You know? You know, Lampant... Lampin's been trying. I'm gonna try to- I'm, I'm going on this theory still, that this is a bug. It's bug-shaped, therefore why not bug, right? Um, Thunderfang didn't do a whole lot on it, so I'm gonna see what happens if I Thunderfang Dialga. I know I tried it before, eh, you know, it made him flinch, so I can't complain too much. Um... I might complain about that later on. I haven't decided yet, but um, hopefully the flame burst does good. Oh look, that does do good. Great job, Lampin. You just stay alive and um, I'm gonna have Luxray crunch Dialga. I'm not sure what to do about the Dialga situation. I, I really just kind of focused my whole focus was on getting rid of Palkia as fast as possible because my brain could only process one thing to focus on. And if it was going to be one of them, it had to be that one. Why? I don't know. But it seemed like a great idea at the time, and you know what? I still stand by it. Now, this time I'm going to target Dialga fully on um, Lampin's thing because of its splash damage. I've got thoughts, sometimes, not often, and I'm gonna use Luxray's time to get Luxray a little- Oh, god damn it! I should have planned for it. I should have known. If I was healing, why wouldn't I have thought? Oh my god. That was not a smart moment. Oh, I'm so upset with myself. Oh, and we don't know what's gonna come out next. What if it's worse? What if it can kill me? What are you? Drag oil? Oh. Gargan has an older sibling. Kitty says morale, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. All right, so new, uh, new plan, which wasn't, it isn't really new. It's the same exact plan as last round, pretty much, except we're, we're going back to fighting the bug specifically. Yeah, Kitty, we're going after the bug first, I know. She's just so upset. I just didn't know what I was doing, obviously. If she were playing, she'd have this all set. But since she doesn't have fingertips, or fingers at all, um, she has to watch me do it, and it hurts her. Just like it probably hurts some of you, but that's okay. It's fine. Maybe. Now, I know this is a little excessive, but I've got an excessive amount of cash in this game, you know? So I might as well keep Lampent's health up while I can. And that seems silly, but you know, Lampent's actually not dying for once in our lives, so I want to 
cherish the moment, you know? Just celebrate what we can here. Now, I don't think that crunching this is gonna feel good on Luxray's teeth, but it's not gonna stop me. As I say, if, if he kills Luxray, it might stop me. But that part didn't. And luckily, nobody's understood the whole don't thunder punch an electric Pokemon thing. So, we're doing good. We're actually doing kind of great right now. I completely ignore the fact that there is a huge level difference between these Pokemon, because I was so concerned. Oh, look at that. Lampant grew to level 80. It's amazing. Don't faint, please, I beg of you. Lampant, just stay alive, all right? You can do this. You can do this, buddy. I'm debating on if I need to... Yeah, you know, I want... I want as many of these Pokemon to stay alive as possible. I know Meowstic went down, but Meowstic went down for a good cause. Okay? Okay? So, we're just gonna... We're gonna do our best here. Which, I think our best is actually pretty okay for ones. It's much needed. A much needed pretty okay. Oh, I didn't mean to hit bag. That, that might not be as okay. That's a sign that we're going downhill fast. Uh, you know, that happens at 1.30 in the morning, the same day that I need to upload this video. <laughs> oh, good thing I don't plan on doing a ton of editing, but, you know, it might not be ideal. But look at that! We won! And that's what matters. How could you? It's not possible. I thought you had everything planned out, huh? Huh? What happened to that? You? Huh? There's... there's no way. You were able to dispatch two deities at once? Uh, you know, it... It had a, an attempt that failed at one point, but... They must need more time to stabilize after being summoned. No matter. I've got one Pokemon left to catch. Without Dialga, there's no way you or Thorn will be able to stop us. Your efforts will only prove futile. Goodbye. Did I tell her my name? Why is this room so glowy? Can I have this rock? No. Alright, so I thought that I needed- Oh, there we go. I was like, I thought I needed a chunk from this place to take to Thorn, even though I'm pretty sure she said, you know, Thorn's not a good guy. But what do I know? Maybe she's lying to us. I am not positive that character is a she, honestly. But I- I don't know, I feel like, probably maybe? We'll find out maybe eventually. If not, I'm sorry I misgendered them and um, this is my public apology in advance. Because I'm gonna forget about it by next week. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm just checking to see if, no, what's her face is left. All right, well, cool. We beat a bunch of fancy Pokemon. Now I can fly back to my town, and by my I mean Frostridge, whatever, place, this cold place with a Pokemon Center. Wow. Skilled. So yeah, um, anyway, the reason why we ended up with Meowstic is that, one, I realized Bonsly, I'm sorry, Bonsly really wasn't cutting it. I, I really wanted to keep Bonsly to the end as a Bonsly, not as a Sudowoodo, as a Bonsly. Just you know, for the sake of doing it. What does this do? Lines of medical code run across the screen. Hmm. Well, I'm glad they didn't try to explain it to me. But, um, it, it occurred to me that for the memes is not a good enough reason, perhaps. Um, would you like to teach one of your Pokemon Draco Meteor? Um, I don't think so, but I want to see if anyone can. Altaria can learn that move. I guess that's what we can have in the comments this time. Should I teach Altaria Draco? Draco meter? Dracometer. Meteor. Um, anyway. I was training in places because I got bored of training in one spot. And where I was, I found an Esper. And fun fact, Esper is one of my favorite Pokemon. S surprising, I know, because it's a cat. And it was a male one, and male Meowstic is my favorite of the Meowstics. It is more favorite than Esper. 
I'll put it that way, you know? It's not my favorite, but it's one of my favorites. Oh, hello, Time. Were you able to kick out those strange people from Chrono's Temple? I knew you would. I'm just perusing my book collection to see if anything sparks my interest. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna, like, ask some more details on that. But yeah, why not? Didn't need... Didn't need to know more things or anything. Alright. Well. Yeah. So I ended up actually getting two espers, but one was female. But it notifies you when um, the Pokemon that you're fighting in the wild has a hidden ability. And that one did. So I was like, well, crap. Now I need two of them. So that's how I ended up with two espers. But the female one is still in a box and still at the original level that I got it at. I also leveled up Vulpix to Ninetales to not quite high enough to match with the team yet, but will soon be a substitute and accidentally leveled up an Absol in the process. And a, a Zatu? I think that's how you pronounce it. X-A-T-U. I never knew how to pronounce those things. Natu's evolution. I like Natu more. Shocking, I know. Um, but... It's another one where you know that you can only go so far with the memes. Alright, I guess I gotta go down here. Hi there. Nobody told me that you're trying to take over the, the d dimensions. You got another shard too. I'll pop that in quick and reboot the system. While that's calibrating, you can fill me in on how it went at the temple. And um, I don't wanna. Now to confirm changes on the computer's end. You know, I think... I think nothing happened at the temple. Wonderful. The machine has successfully registered the new energy source. Rebooting now. So, how'd it go at Kronos Temple? You were able to take you on, even though they had Dialga and Palkia. That's incredible. I'm sorry that Irene didn't go along to aid you. I swear I told her they were on their way and to be prepared. Either way, you were able to handle things seemingly well. You've grown into quite the formidable trainer. What did you say? They think I want to capture the deities for me. What are they talking about? As you know, I have not asked you once to try and capture those Pokemon. In fact, I encourage you to stay away from them as they can be extremely dangerous. So I find it odd that they think they're foiling some sort of plan of mine. That's what an evil person would say. I don't know. Luckily, all that nonsense should be done and over with now. Once the system reboots, I should be able to send you back to your own time. Um, all those colors don't seem very safe. All right, let me just bring up the diagnostics and... Oh, fascinating. Uh, small issue. Nothing we can't fix, but... We need one more energy signature. The fascinating part is that my readings show that you are neither from a place or time in this reality. Time isn't in the time in this reality. I thought for sure you were just, you were from here just a different time. But no, you are indeed from a completely different reality. Without the energy signature from Giratina, we can only traverse our immediate timeline. Though that is incredible in and of itself, it is not the full solution to returning you home. Unfortunately, you're going to have to get that last shard after all. I know, what a surprise. Lady. You were just trying to tell me that you're not evil and trying to take over the world with these deity Pokemon, but now I have to go and get a rock from this one? As you know though, the temple where Giratina would need to be summoned has been destroyed. So how do we... Oh, duh. We use the time-altering energy from the Kronos Shard and send you back to the last time Giratina was summoned. Don't worry, just like before, you don't have to face off with any threats. Except I did this time. Just scoop up a charge shard after Giratina arrives. I'll update the coordinates, recalibrate the quantum displacer, and done. The machine is now ready to transport you back 100 years to before the Kaios temple was destroyed. When you enter the machine, it is going to fit you with an exosuit. It's an invention of mine that was made just for this purpose. When did you have time to do that, Thorn? Thorn, you're you're actually seeming kind of suspicious. I'm going to be honest here. I I know I made the joke before. 
and I wasn't sure, but I'm feeling like it's a little suspicious. This will be the perfect test run. With the suit, I will have a direct link to you from the lab. That means I'll be able to communicate with you and observe your immediate surroundings. It was primarily designed to allow people to traverse time. I'm still working on some of its other features. So when you're ready, one last task faces you, probably the toughest yet. All we know about the destination is that Giratina was there, and all that is left is ruins today. If it seems like even for a moment that you're in danger, I'll warp you back to the lab immediately. You have my word. So, go ahead and take a break if you need to. When you're ready, step into the machine. One last hurdle, and then we can send you home. So what if she just drops me off in the past and then doesn't actually bring me back? Have we considered that as an option? What, what happens then, huh? What about my weird connection with maybe Celebi? Have we talked about that? Thorn, I feel like we need to discuss a lot of things before I go in there. Are you... Are you evil? Okay, she's not answering me. So I'm gonna guess that she might not be evil. And you might be lying to us. A folder with what looks to be notes about interdimensional travel. Why do you have... Why do you have these notes, Thorn? Why? These papers seem to detail the ideas for some sort of exploration suit. Oh, so, okay. Two books, one called Simulated Realities and the other called Why None of This Matters. I'm going through these just one more time to see if we can get some insight on her before, um, you know, proceeding. Tiny little notes, they seem to contain names and locations of people Thorn finds important. That's just weird, but I guess uh, that could be normal. An empty trash can. Machines vibrating, warm to the touch, probably shouldn't touch, also shouldn't touch. Lab equipment sits on a shelf, more lab equipment sitting on a shelf. A schematic that details how Thorn's machine can feed off of different potential energy sources. Great, great. Journals, books. I'm just looking to see if there's any extra um, noteworthy stuff. Did that just say... The shelf has books that smell boring. All right, all right. Seems to be a set of research documents covering the origin of a singularity event. Am I the singularity event, Thorn? I don't know. Um, anyway, now that we've kind of looked around the lab, gotten some ideas, uh, I guess also comment if you think that Thorn is sus because the not Team Galactic person because it's totally not Team Galactic, told us that she is. So is she. Uh, and don't answer for serious if you know for fact. No spoilers, you know? But if you have a theory, you can leave your theory. But anyway, we're going to wrap things up here to leave us on a nice cliffhanger for the last adventure we may ever take. Or not. I don't know yet. But we'll find out when we find out. So thank you all for watching, commenting, lurking, if you're just lurking, clicking the thumbs up, the subscribes, all those things that you do, and I hope to see you all next time.